Suppose you want to borrow $20,000 for a new car. You can borrow at 8% per year, compounded monthly. Uh, 8 divided by 12 is 0.66667% per month. If you take a 4-year loan, what is your monthly payment? This is a loan, so the $20,000 is a uh, present value. You get the $20,000 today, or the bank gives the seller of the car uh, the $20,000 on your behalf, and then you pay for it in increments later. So that $20,000 is a present value. So here we're dealing with uh, an ordinary annuity, uh, or the present value of an ordinary annuity, and we do know that the formula is PV equals to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power T over R. What we are looking for here is C, so C is what we are looking for, and uh, C uh, is a monthly number, so the R and the T need to also be monthly. Okay, so the present value is 20,000 because you're getting that today. The R is the interest rate, and here it would be the uh, this number, so we'll just say it's 0.67% per month, or 0.0067, because it has to be inputted into the calculator as a decimal. The T, has to also be uh, at a monthly frequency, and you do know here that the uh, the loan lasts for four years. So you take four, and you multiply by 12 months, which will give you 48 months. So here we have all of our variables. All we need to do is just plug in the variables into the formula and find the missing value. So here, 20,000 equals to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.0067 to the power of 48 divided by 0 0.0067. And the easiest way to do this is just to uh, determine the number inside uh, the, uh, the brackets uh, first, and then we look for the missing uh, value, which is C. So to get to that number, using the regular calculator that we have, uh, you basically do 1 plus 0 0.0067 to the power of 48, you inverse that number, minus, plus 1, divided by 0 0.0067. Okay, so this will give us a value of 40.93. So this means that 20,000 equals to C times 40.93. Now what, we, what you can do is just rearrange the formula, so C equals to 20,000 divided by 40.93. If you do the calculation, you're going to find that it's about um, 487.92 dollars. So each month, you're expected to pay about 487.92 dollars for, uh, for this loan. You can also get this using the financial calculator. So this is the information that you need to input here. You're looking for the PMT, so this is what you will be computing. Uh, but first, before we do anything, we're always clear. So uh, second FV, second CEC to clear all of um, our time value of money calculations. To be a little bit, bit more accurate, um, just take that 8. So the, for the percentage, take 8 divided by 12. Okay, we have that percentage, just like how it's given to us um, on, the, um, on the example, and then you input it as di over y. Next, you take 48 months, so 48 is n, 
$20,000 uh, that is your cash inflow from the bank and so we keep it as a positive number and input it as uh, PV and here we compute for PMT and you're going to find that the payment is 488.25 really close to uh, what we have found of 487.92 again the most accurate number is the one that is given by the financial calculator uh, because when we are uh, calculating um, uh, by hand we we tend to uh, round numbers and so we're less likely to get uh, accurate or, or very accurate numbers but it's always uh, good to check your work using the financial calculator and see if uh, the numbers that you get are uh, are pretty close together so uh, 488.25 that's gonna be the monthly payment on, on this loan